Hello, this is Elias, aka The Herbal Scientist, and this is gonna be my first video on YouTube titled What is Herbalism and Why is it Important? So, the definition of herbalism is the study and practice of medicinal and therapeutic plants. It has been used from civilizations, uh, ancient civilizations like Greece, Phoenicia, ancient Egypt, and to treat and even more so prevent diseases using therapeutic plants. In fact, the beginning of pharmacy as a profession uh, started by manufacturing herbal tinctures, herbal powders and other elixirs, elixirs that were based around a medicinal plant. However, as technology progressed and with the industrial revolution, herbalism was left behind as more synthetic medicines came to light. This is not to say that pharmaceutical drugs have no value or are ineffective, not at all, but there are certain conditions that cannot be adequately treated with the current medication that we have available and a more holistic approach with both um, medicinal plants and pharmaceutical uh, medicines or just pharmaceutical plants could be beneficial to several people because plants contain multiple compounds. There is not a single plant that will only contain one active ingredient. There will often be, oftentimes, be more than one or two hundred ingredients, most of them exerting an effect in any medicinal plant, especially if I'm not mistaken in medicinal mushrooms, for example, like chaga and rishi, there is over 200 compounds in there that it's hard to isolate and um, try and figure out which substance is the one that actually exerts an effect but holistically the entire plant has a medicinal property so why choose herbs a few reasons is that many herbs have been used for hundreds or even thousands of years before uh, pharmaceutical medicines so there is um, like an anecdotal use if you will of the medicines for hundreds of years several plants have been um, studied in placebo control trials academic studies that prove the effects of a medicinal plant against placebo which is in my opinion the only way to quantify the effects of a drug the second reason would be that plenty of herbs possess, as I said, more than one active ingredient and therefore they are capable of exhibiting more than one effect and also there are certain plants that um, one active ingredient can have a very strong effect but then a strong side effect as well but another of the active ingredients contained within the plant may actually counteract the side effect that the first active ingredient may cause. So it's, the, it's about the holistic approach, like the whole plant is what should be used in herbalism, not just certain proteins or certain substances of the plant. Uh, thir third reason and very important is that herbs is, are available to everyone. So everyone can go online and purchase herbs, everyone can go to the store and purchase herbs, you can go to a flea market or even you can even go forage your own herbs which is the best because fresh organic herbs from the nature would be the ideal for creating tinctures or consuming as tea or even raw plants as medicine. The fourth reason would be that they, have to, they tend to have a slower onset compared to pharmaceutical drugs. Um, so herbs generally, in order to exert an effect, they take longer than the average pharmaceutical drug. For example, Rhodiola rosea, which is used um, a lot for homeostasis and stress response, etc. You're not gonna take one capsule of rhodiola extract and immediately feel the effect. It's um, academic study shows that it's generally 10 days to 14 days until you can actually see an effect from rhodiola rosea extract because it has to build up a level within your organism as opposed to say antidepressants that can act within hours of a single dose of an administration but then there are possible side effects and withdrawal symptoms but with great power comes great responsibility the controls on herbs and the controls and regulations on herbs are a bit loose and especially in certain countries 
so it's very easy to get the wrong kinds of herbs or get the wrong form of a herb and then get toxic effects or you may get several herbs because you've read about the beneficial uses of them but you don't know about interactions between these herbs and there might be interactions between two herbs that you chose or a contraindication with one herb and your condition. So it's very important that you look at academic studies, placebo control trial and generally academic literature before you decide to use a herb even for once because there can be toxic herbs and there can be herbs that are beneficial for someone else but not for you. And last but not least, why should you listen to me and why take my word for granted? Short answer is don't. Don't take my word for granted. I don't want anyone to do that. You should do your own research, cross-check everything I say and then if you value my advice and the background research that you've done agrees with it, you can follow my advice. Long answer is that I studied pharmacy in England. I'm a qualified pharmacist and I work in Greece now. I've worked in a pharmacy since I was a teenager and submitted my university thesis on herbal remedies and the pharmacist attitudes towards herbal remedies in UK. I took courses on herbalism because I always had an interest um, with plants and how nature can treat us and how we can manufacture our own uh, medicines through nature. I've been using, I've been personally using herbal remedies for the past seven or eight years with great effect for several purposes, be it mind clarity, weight loss and immune boosting properties, even thyroid function. But science is, but science is ever changing and new studies often come to disprove past theories. So doctors and researchers have been wrong many times. Always cross-check anything and doubt the source until you find more evidence about it. Not just on herbs, but that's on anything, pharmaceutical medicines as well. Just because something has been FDA approved doesn't mean that it's for you. Doesn't mean that because you've read it on a bl blog online, you should use that medicine. Always check your facts. So I hope you enjoyed my first video and looking forward to seeing you again. Till the next time, stay healthy.